right, all weekend long, uh, weekend, all week, we've been, of course, <laughs> talking about being healthy, eating healthy. Um, but now's the time for us to have comfort food. And Rachel's here with me, the uh, managed mom, who is helping us manage some uh, comfort food. <laughs> well, yeah, because you know what? We're all, it's the new year, we're eating well, we're exercising, but you have to have a cheat day, because if you don't, you're going to go a little crazy, right? Yes. So we're making pot pie. Love pot pies. The ultimate comfort food. Listen, whoever does not love pot pies, I don't. they've never grown up in the Midwest or, or been around. We used to get the frozen pot pies. So that was my mom's dinner for us. Cut a little thing, a little it. like crust Got and everything. Vent it. Vent yep. it and ready to go. Yep. But we're going to make our own right here. Yes, and you're going to love this pot pie because it's a little bit of a cheat recipe, all right? It's just a few ingredients, 30 minutes. It's something you can teach if you have college kids, something you can gift to people if they're home recovering from surgery, new baby. This is my multitasking comfort pot pie. Okay. So let's start, Brad. I'm going to have you whip it up for us. All right, so what are we going to start with? Chicken. First right. thing you might, now if you really want to cheat, you could get a rotisserie chicken at the store, right, and shred that yeah. for busy moms or dads that need to fix a meal before the kids practice. So okay. you can do it that, that way or there. you can cook your own chicken. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to do a can of veg all veggies. Okay. I happen to like that brand the best. I've seen other brands, but I just like everything they have in right. there. Just dump it in? Just dump that in. All right, that's what I'm doing. All right, and this is one thing that makes it so creamy and good, and okay. that's a can of cream of potato soup. Ooh, so dump that, that in there, too. You want right. to scoop that in scoop there. Scoop it all out. Yep. And then if you want to make it a little spicy, I've done this before, too. You could add a little spice, a little cayenne pepper if you uh -huh. want to do Ooh, that. I like yeah. some cayenne yeah. pepper. There you go. Right, this thing is hard to get out. This is... But it's coming out, and that's what, get, that's what gives it that really creamy consistency. Is that what so it is? All right. I'm I do like the cream of potato soup. you got to have that in this recipe. So... All right. All right. That looks good to me. I think that's pretty good. Is that good. pretty good? We got enough yep. out there? I think that's just, just right. perfect, Brad. You're All doing right. great. All right. See, see, Ma? I'm doing it. There Look you go. Look at that. Look at that. All right. We got it in there. All right. So now we're going to do an eighth teaspoon of pepper. Eight, I eight love pepper. Of pepper. Yep. Pepper. That's all? That's, that's it. You can what add. Be, can you, you add more pepper? More. Yep. More and I always seasoning? do. I always do when it's done. All right. Now so we're going to do... Three-fourths cup of milk, and you can do 1% or 2% whole, just whatever you want to do. Just dump it, it on in there. If you want it creamier, you go for the whole milk. All if right. you're watching your so calories, in there. right, and now then we're going to mix that around really good. And by the way, you would preheat your oven to 400 degrees, Okay. all right? And once you get that mixed up, we're going to pour it into our pie crust. Now, here is a great little cheat trick. My friend Diane taught me this recipe years ago when I had a new baby. So check this out. Mm -hmm. You're going to pour it, you want two crusts, buy okay. them frozen, pour it into the bottom crust, okay. and you want to make sure that your pie crusts are frozen. Don't Ooh. let them sit out, and you're going to know why in just a minute. Just scoop there. it in there. Yep. All right. And then sometimes, too, I'll save a little bit, and I'll also make a smaller pot pie while yeah. I'm working on a big one, because that's always fun, too. Because, uh, well, you said that really quick, because they, they can make them smaller. Right. I, I dropped that one yep. by accident. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> no, but you're you good. Go. Right, but good. you can okay. find the small ones, too, at the grocery store. I was right. happy to find that. Okay. So, so then dump I, that all in there. Just get it all in there? Yep. And then, hopefully, this stayed frozen enough. Because what happens if it doesn't stay frozen? Uh, it's, if it starts, it'll still cook just fine, but if you want it to look pretty and perfect, you want it frozen because, here's the cool trick, take okay. that okay. and then turn it on top of it okay. carefully. Like That's it. And then it should pop out. Aha! Oh. It worked. It worked. So and that's it? Yeah. But you want to vent it. And I have a knife right over there for you to vent it. Where? This there one? There you go. So make your little vents. So if it starts to thaw out, then you just have to shape it back with your hands, you know. But if it's frozen, then it pops right out of the pan. Isn't that a cool trick? Hey, oh, it's I sliding that. a little bit there. That's but... all right. And then we pop it in the oven. How many, how many vents should I put? That's perfect. Just two? Yeah. You could even make a letter B out of it for, for Brad Ooh, and have fun with well, it. I want to do that. And if it caves in, it still comes out. Does it? Yep. All right. So 30 minutes at 400 degrees, and check it out, I brought you one with the and magic that's... of television. So Ooh. if you want to cut into it, I brought you a knife too this right, right here? here. Yep. So and just cut. Just this. cut into it. Show everyone what it looks like when it's all done. And I've got a plate if you want to serve some up. I do. And maybe right. take a little taste. Where can they find more information about the comfort food, everything you got going on? Yep. Uh, it's managedmoms.com. And I have a column under there called Rachel Recommends. I got cooking and recipes, all kinds of good stuff. And there's a fork for you, too, if you want to try it. Oh, my goodness. I know. It's my cheat day, so I got to give it a it's try. It's got to have the cheat day, right? right? Do a little cheat day here. Yep. And I think if you have a cheat day, it keeps you on task.
you, ma. You like it? Ma. Thumbs up? Bye right. bye, ma. Ma. Bye <laughs> bye. I love it. Thanks for joining us. You are so welcome. Thanks for having me. All right, there you go. We got our cheat day food all set for us. So, all right, stick around. We got more mix right after this. This is really good.